If you're not sure where to log in to your WordPress website, don't worry, you're not alone. In fact, when I first learned how to use WordPress, I had no idea how to log in and make edits to my website. In this video, you will learn how to access your WordPress admin dashboard through a direct link so you can log in and make edits and changes to your WordPress website. Here we are at the front end of our WordPress site. From your browser's address bar, go ahead and add forward slash login or forward slash WP admin to the end of your domain name. Hit enter and you will be taken to your default login page. Note that this direct link method works with most WordPress installations. Here you will enter your WordPress username or email address and password. These were set up when you first installed WordPress. Go ahead and click login and you will be taken to your WordPress admin dashboard. This is also referred to as the back end of your WordPress site where you will be able to begin making changes. Now, I know there's a lot going on when you're setting up your domain name, your hosting, your WordPress website in the beginning, and there's a lot of usernames and passwords to remember. So if you forgot your password to your WordPress dashboard, you can easily get a reset link sent to you by clicking on this link right here that says lost your password. On the next page, enter the email address that you used when setting up your WordPress site and click on get new password. From here, you will receive an email with a link to set a new password. If you don't receive it, be sure to check your spam folder. Go ahead and click the link within the email and you will be taken to this page to set a new password. Choose a new password and click reset password. Now we can try to log in with our new password. Click log in and enter our username and new password. And voila! We are all logged in to our WordPress admin dashboard. Now that you've gotten logged in to your WordPress dashboard, you might be wondering how to customize your WordPress login page. For more information, I'll link up to a video on how to customize your WordPress login page using Beaver Builder and PowerPack. I'll leave a link in the description below as well as in the card above. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click the subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.